If there's one thing you can count on with e-commerce, it's that it's always changing. And 2022 looks to be no exception. From 2020 to 2021, the market underwent significant change, and we all learned the importance of being adaptable. Welcome to our channel, e-commerce know-how. The following are the top trends in e-commerce for 2022. Number 9. COD remains a consumer concern. COD appears to be a concern for shoppers in 2022, based on recent reports of new variants and cases on the rise. This will continue to have a significant impact on consumer behavior, with the trend toward at-home shopping likely to continue as more people choose to shop online in the comfort of their own homes. Number 8. More places to sell than ever. Everyone wants a piece of the e-commerce pie, with giants like Instagram and Spotify entering the market as potential buyer marketplaces. Customers expect a seamless purchasing experience within the apps they use on a daily basis. Browsing Instagram, spotting a jacket, and purchasing it, all without leaving the app. Are you listening to your favorite artist? Get your hands on one of their new tour tees. To capitalize on e-commerce in 2022, sellers should consider expanding their sales channels beyond traditional marketplaces and taking advantage of market changes. Number 7. Optimize for mobile. More people than ever before are abandoning desktop browsing in favor of mobile shopping, and this trend is expected to continue well into the new year. While this will come as no surprise to many e-commerce businesses, the continued rise of mobile shoppers, combined with the other trends discussed in this article, will make it critical to ensure you're providing an easy buying experience across all platforms. Remember this when creating a product listing, formatting images for listings, or doing anything else. What looks good on your desktop may not look so good on mobile. Number 6. Sustainability is core to attracting younger shoppers. Younger generations are more conscious of the environment and their role in climate change. If you want to sell to millennials or Generation Z, start taking steps now to reduce your carbon footprint and be more sustainable wherever possible. If you are looking to make your products, supply chain, and manufacturing processes more sustainable, make sure to promote these selling points to your customers. Number 5. B2B e-commerce boom is coming. In recent years, we've seen a dramatic increase in B2C e-commerce, and B2B e-commerce is expected to follow suit. The volume of B2B transactions carried out in 2022 is expected to be significantly higher than in previous years, with some predicting that B2B e-commerce will grow by more than 70% to $20.9 trillion by 2027. Number 4. E-commerce isn't just done online anymore. It's also done in person. While the goal of e-commerce has traditionally been to move the selling process entirely online, we are now seeing online purchasing platforms used in physical locations to enhance the shopping experience. Online tools or purchasing methods are making their way into customer trade across various sectors accelerated by the pandemic. Think mobile ordering at restaurants or click and collect in retail stores. Could this present you with any opportunities for your company? Number 3. Flexible payment options. With buy now, pay later options becoming more common, customers are starting to expect more flexibility in how they pay for their purchases. Is there any way you can use staggered payments or developments by disruptor banks like real-time banking, bill splitting, and group tab management to reduce card abandonment? Number 2. Marketplace Seller Retention Marketplaces will do everything they can to retain customers as the e-commerce market expands and more players enter the fray. However, because customer loyalty on marketplaces is much lower than it is through your own direct channels, it's worth considering what you can do to promote brand loyalty and increase repeat purchases, such as offering existing customers discounts. Number 1. Invest in your digital strategy. If you're new to e-commerce or have recently transitioned from a brick and mortar to an online business, this one's for you. Now is the time to invest in your digital strategy, tools, and partners. The tools available to assist online businesses in succeeding change at a breakneck pace and established real-world brands can quickly lose out to seasoned online competitors. To protect yourself from this competition, make the necessary investments now to get a head start. With all of this in mind, 
We hope it inspires some new business ideas for you in 2022. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. Are you ready for these trends in 2022? Let us know in the comments. Like this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you in the next video.